Hello everybody, my name is Lewis, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the HyperX Cloud 2s to the HyperX Cloud Alphas to the HyperX Cloud Flights. Let's get into it. So first, let's start with audio. The worst of the pack is definitely going to have to be the Cloud Flights, alright? These are about like three years old now, and I've got to say that it's definitely showing. The audio isn't as good as the Cloud Alphas and Cloud 2s, so the... Flights, I'm going to say, get a 7 out of 10 in audio, while the Cloud 2s and Alphas are going to get like an 8.5 out of 10. Now for build quality. Um, I'd also have to say that the Cloud Flight is the worst one here. It's made of plastic. The only metal is in the adjustable headband, and um, about three years later, it is very creaky. Now, these two headphones are brand new, and they don't creak. And they're made of much nicer feeling materials. You got like the silicone rubber-ish metal all around, aluminum, and the headband is much nicer as well. So I'm going to have to say that the Cloud Flight loses this one and gets a, again, 7 out of 10. While these ones are going to get probably a 9.5, maybe even a, nah, I wouldn't say a 10. For a 10, it'd have to be all metal construction. Now for comfort. The cloud flights are again going to get the lowest score. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 again because everything about the cloud flight is pretty nice until you get to the headband because it's not very plump and on top of the headband you have this rigid plastic so you'll definitely feel that when playing for a long time but with the cloud 2s and alphas you have this leather on the top and a much thicker headband so you won't really notice that and in terms of ear cups the only real thing I could say, and this goes for all of HyperX headsets, is that it could be a little more breathable because my ears do get hot while using it. So for comfort, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. If they made it breathable, it would literally be a 10 out of 10. And for the Cloud Flights, again, 7 out of 10. Now for gaming audio. Now this is audio like hearing footsteps, gunshots, and I'm going to have to say that they are all very similar. Now before you say, oh, the Cloud 2s and Alphas have DTSX spatial sound, which should make it sound better, right? No. No, it doesn't. D don't talk about that, all right? You can go check out my Cloud 2 review. I go a little bit more in depth on it in there, but it doesn't work and it made it sound worse in my opinion. I had a harder time figuring out where enemies were. So they're about equal in terms of gaming audio and I'm gonna give them a solid eight out of 10 because they're good with stereo, but they don't have any type of actual good spatial sound. Now for software. The Cloud 2 and Alphas have the HyperX Ingenuity software but it's absolute garbage and I wouldn't recommend using it. While the Cloud Flights don't support the Ingenuity software more than just telling you what the battery percentage is. So I'm gonna have to give the software, obviously, um, a good seven out of 10 on the twos and alphas because at least it's there. And then for the flights, it gets a zero because there is none. Honorable mention is that the Cloud Flight uses micro USB, which um, if you've watched this channel before, you know that I absolutely despise. So it's another reason to not buy this old and aging headset. Now for the microphone test. This is how the microphone on the HyperX Cloud Alpha Wireless sounds. This is how the microphone sounds on the HyperX Cloud Flight. This is how the microphone on the HyperX Cloud 2 sounds. Now for battery life. This is the main selling point of the Cloud Alpha, as this has a whopping 300 hours of battery life, while the Cloud Flight and 2s have um, 30. So you're getting 10 times the battery life with the Cloud Alpha, which is a clear 10 out of 10 because no other headset has really even gotten close to a 300 hour battery life before. So um, yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. One plus of the Cloud Flights is that you can use it wired and wireless while the Cloud Alpha and Cloud 2s have no sort of aux port, which is kind of weird, but if you're looking to use this with your phone and with your computer, you can do that. While with the Cloud Alphas and 2s, you're just going to be stuck using that wireless USB receiver. Now for my verdict. I'm going to give you the total score of all these headsets and which ones I think you should buy. So the Cloud Alpha, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. This headset is literally near perfect. The only thing, again, is the software. But other than that, it has amazing audio, amazing comfort, amazing battery life. It does pretty much everything it needs to, right? And the only thing that it isn't really good on is breaking the bank, considering it is a $200 headset that you can only use on your computer. But other than that, this headset is amazing and it's probably one of the best you could buy today. Next up is the Cloud 2s. 
I'd say that these are worth it for sure, but if you go to the used section on Amazon and buy it from the Amazon warehouse, you can find this thing for 50 bucks, which is like literally a steal. You get 30 hours of battery life, it's comfortable, it's built well, it has a great microphone. It literally does is pretty much everything that the Cloud Alpha does just with 10 times less battery. So it is again, one of the best headsets that you can buy today. And if you buy it used, one of the best budget headsets as well. Now for the Cloud Flights, I'm gonna have to give these a seven out of 10. These are a pretty good headset and it served me well, especially after three years of usage, it still is working. It's a very good headset, it has amazing battery life, but it's not built very well. It's old, it's flimsy, and it's overall just not the greatest, especially with the Cloud 2s being able to be bought at such a cheap price. I'd say that you ditch the Cloud Flights and just buy the Cloud 2s used as you'll still get better build quality and pretty much do everything better than this one can. Still an amazing headset though, and I would recommend it if you already have it, but if you're thinking about buying it, just go for the Cloud 2s used instead. All right, that has been the end of this video. I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.